Thank you, Madam President, and thank you for allowing us to have another vibrant debate. <clears throat> I um, see that uh, the Senator from Monterey is not in the room, but I just wanted to wish him a happy birthday uh, and thank him for bringing up some of the concerns that, uh, that I have and, and looking at the other side of maybe the stress and trauma that everyone is sort of concerned about. Uh, the first is mutual aid agreements. I come out of county land and, and we have assistance agreements. And so when we have a wildfire, uh, which we did in 2008, that swept through the Santa Ana Canyon and impacted the cities of Yorba Linda and Brea, I was just so excited to see so many fire trucks from up here that came all the way down to Orange County and helped us out. We, we worked together uh, fire departments work together, and you'll see Orange County fire trucks in Northern California when there are major conflagrations. We, we work together uh, as departments. Our police departments in Orange County, we have 34 cities, they have mutual aid agreements. They work together. Uh, they respect their city borders, but they work together to apprehend the bad guys. So to unilaterally discontinue such a long-standing reciprocal understanding with the federal government is disturbing. It's disturbing to our constituents. So no wonder the California State Sheriff's Association is opposed. Two cities of refuge is actually, uh, it's actually uh, a, a scriptural uh, phenomenon. Uh, the Torah in the Old Testament actually set up cities of refuge. We call them now sanctuary cities. Uh, so it, uh, it's, it's a, it's a, a long-standing uh, historical fact, um, but to have a derivative of a sanctuary city, now a sanctuary state, is, is very disturbing to uh, the majority of our constituents, our the citizens of California. They don't wish to be known as a sanctuary state. In fact, uh, this uh, afternoon, uh, I was notified of 10,000 signatures that could be delivered to the floor uh, just by one radio show program out of San Diego on KOGO 600 AM, the Carl DeMaio show had 10,000 people sign up quickly. So three, why do we want to engage the federal government in yet another funding battle? Uh, California has a very precarious budget. It has major unfunded liabilities. It has major retiree medical expenses. It has severe infrastructure concerns. Uh, we, we just don't need to jeopardize a funding source from the federal government. So with a state that is really having some fiscal uh, concerns and is going to be asking our residents to step up to the bar for another tax increase, uh, we need to be a little more cautious about what we're doing with the big picture, and I urge a no vote on SB 54. Thank you, Madam President.